box 26. Hey guys, Zuri here, and today we got our 26 hobby box. 2021 SB Authentic Cocky. Five cards a pack, 18 packs per box. Any given box of SB Authentic should be expected a future watch auto, another auto, and a bunch of filler. But before we get into today's video, a lot of people have asked me where I get my boxes from. Well, I'm proud to announce this video is sponsored by Mirage Trading. Looking for sealed boxes yourself? Check out MirageTrading.com, featuring a tremendous selection of old and new boxes, ranging from hockey to TCGs, offering highly competitive pricing and free shipping for orders over $175. Sponsorship aside, I've done many orders with Mirage Trading over the years. They are genuinely one of my go-to sites for boxes. I mean, heck, this SBA box, I ordered it weeks ago, long before they wanted to work with me. It used to be Big Boy Cards and KCAN, Quebec, Canada there. Like seriously, I've ordered a ton from them over the years. I am getting paid to promote them, but they are truly like one of my favorite sites to get boxes from. Also, Mirage Trading is offering 20% off card supply discount code to my viewers, which is in the description of this video. So be sure to check out their newly refreshed site, check out their newly launched app, which is available now for download with a lot of cool things to come. So thank you to Mirage Trading for sponsoring today's video. Links to everything will be in the description. So 2021 SBA, this is box number 26. I opened three enters and a loose box of this stuff. I fared pretty well. That being said, I know a lot of people have asked me how my progress is towards the set. And if I'm being honest, I haven't bought a whole lot towards the set. I mean, still says probably the most noteworthy one. I think I have a couple other cheap ones that were sent to me, but I only have 26 towards the set. I definitely need to be more aggressive towards the set. Then again, a lot of these have gone down in price. I've definitely learned over the years to be more patient when buying these cards. Like take Lafreniere right here. I'm probably showing the prices right now. It used to be like a $700 card when I pulled this, 700 plus. It's about half of that now. For the record, I don't think Lafreniere is a bust. At the very least, he's an NHL player. That being said, what is the upside? I don't know if a superstar is there. It's hard to say. I think a top six forward is there for sure. But I feel his current prices, like 350 there, are still going to continue to fall. He's already becoming old news. As soon as Badar is going to come in the league, he's probably going to overshadow some of these speculative guys. So that's what Lafreniere is at this point. Is he going to pan out? I mean, this is the final year of his ELC. We'll see how much he gets paid. See what happens. Maybe he gets traded. But I don't think he's a bust. But I don't think he has crazy upside. And also, I've been meaning to share this clip. It's the reason why I refuse use account up players early on keep in mind before watching this clip this was a general consensus of this player and even after i pulled it i mentioned it's tough to say he's a bust but i felt like throwing this clip in here considering i'm opening spa so enjoy i doubt it though if i don't pull an autograph here i'm never buying uh, oh. as i say that we got a future watch and i'll slow roll it here i won't save it to the end got jimmy vc this is 17 18 please be josh jose that'd be pretty cool oh. Or anybody, uh, I won't be picky. Please be an autograph. Got a Timmy Panarin. Hey, we got a Future Watch Auto, a loose pack. Woohoo. Um, Tage Thompson, man. A whole lot of meh. Tage Thompson, he's kind of a bust. Number 958 at 999. He's on Buffalo now. Pretty much been in the AHL. 2016 first rounder. I mean, he's kind of a bust. It's hard to say he's a bust, but. Then again, a guy like Jason Robertson, he's up a lot. Close to the double of what he was. I think he was at like 375 when I last priced out Robertson there. But so yeah, there's probably more players here that went down than gone up. Like Josh Norris, very unfortunate. He's missed most of the year, came back, and now he's done for the year, which is really unfortunate. His stuff is down quite a bit. But I mean, there's some interesting ones in here, like Vitek Vanacek. The Stuart Skinner goes for a lot of money, even though it's a non-auto, so... Also, big shout out to Dylan Cousins. He's been great this year for Buffalo. He's emerged as one of the top ones to get here. He has a redemption, so keep that in mind. So yeah, let's open up this box of 2021 SBA. And before I continue on, this box costs $285. Well, let's get right into it. Okay, SBA, my all-time favorite product. I've had great success with 2021. I'd highly recommend checking out my first two inner cases. You don't really need to check out the third inner. The first two were fantastic, but yeah, let's check out 2021 SBA. Hopefully you get a future watch auto towards the set. Don't want any retros. Make sure we don't get the auto right away. No, we got Austin Matthews moments, but Bergeron, Dezingle. There is going to be a bunch of filler in here, but there's a celebrated moments. Austin Matthews, little card there. So standard base ones again, Besser, Grubauer. Just got one box this time around. I don't know if I'm going to get another case of this stuff. I'm honestly just waiting for 2122. Whenever the heck that comes out, who knows, right? Well, it comes out soon. Uh, what do we got here? We got Retro, Bohorvat, Pedersen, Heck of Rene Retro there. Okay. Shea Theodore, Mark Scheifele. Left stack here. Do we have something? No. We got Olufsen, John Carlson, True Leaders, Kopitar, Palmieri, Dubois. All right. Next pack up here. I'm just hoping for any future watch auto towards the set here. Looks like we got Lafreniere moments gallagher gibson i've opened a lot of this there's a lafreniere celebrated moments monahan camper no i haven't pulled capris off his stuff is down a bit still holding pretty strong though all things can 
it. What do we got here? Another retro Terra. I think that's a retro, right? It's a red stick. That's a retro. Gourd and Ryan O'Reilly retro. Kachuk Parisi. And a file pack to the left side. Nothing doing on the left side. Hopefully you don't get an autoless box. That's a big fear with getting single boxes. <laughs> you get violently choo chewed. I don't know what the heck. Oh, it's not a retro. Shesterk install. Camper retro. Patch ready. Ovi. All right. We got the middle stack and we got the right stack. Let's do the middle stack here. Uh, what do we got here? Do we have something in the middle stack? No. Austin Matthews. Connor McDavid. Good names there. Ryan O'Reilly. True leader. Matt Murray. Haskinen. Next pack up your second pack in the middle stack here. Another retro. Are we getting nothing in this box? Jeez. Seth Jones. Jack Hughes. Hellebuck retro. Jake Gensel. Barry. Hopefully not. Pretty sure that happened to me a couple of times where I got an auto list box and got four or five in another box. So it is risky opening loose boxes. Kubalik. Carter Hart's the same with 1920. Top performers. Elias. Huberto Suter. And for 2122, they are changing up the configuration. We'll see how that fares. But with the omission of flagship updates, the product is very shallow apart from the autographs. So and we got limited red. We should be getting like three of these. Barkov, Kachuk, Limited Red, Seth Jones, Kopitar, Kucherov. Two more packs here. The middle stack. Hopefully get an auto in this box. That'd be nice. Uh, what do we got here? Another retro. Jack Eichel, Nick Schmaltz. Uh, we got Besser, Hurdle, and Vasilevsky. Depending on how this box goes, I'll determine whether or not I'll get a case of this stuff again. My fourth case. I'm already on 26 boxes. Uh, what do we got here? Another insert. Mark Stone, Konechny, Klingberg, True Leader. And then we got Tavares and Yossi. All right, final stack. We've pulled nothing in this box this far. Everything hangs in the balance here. Certain Future Watch autos I'll automatically tell just by the sides, aka the stick there with Robertson. If we see the stick there, I'll know it's him. What is this? Another Limited Red, Geslaff, McKinnon, Mantha, Limited Red, Darlene, Panarin. We still got absolutely nothing. I'm getting a little nervous here, not gonna lie. Perron, Tuck, Hasernak, Retro, Sagan, Hellebuck. I mean, SBA has like the best ceiling. Or at least one of the absolute best ceilings in all of the hobby. Definitely my all-time favorite product. But do we have something here for... No, what the heck? Dry Saddle, Carey Price, Bergeron, True Leaders, uh, Brown, Malkin. Three bags left here. We still need two autographs. I'd be happy with this single autograph here what oh no stall shin celebrating moments brain point barzell bailey all right final two packs these are the bottom packs on the right stack i didn't shuffle the packs or anything we still need two autos we have two packs left they just happen to be the final two packs of the box uh, oh no oh no <laughs> oh no Ertl. oh are you kidding me <laughs> no final pack okay we got an autoless box all right, well, Autolus box. Yeah, auto <laughs> of course. Oh my God. Wow. But yeah, guys, there's a hobby box of 2021 SBA. We didn't even get a Spectrum in there. So I'll probably get 50 cents for all these inserts here. Maybe. Uh, yeah, we got an Autolus box. That means somebody else got a four auto box. That's aggressively rough. Looks like I have to buy this by the case if I don't get Choo Choo. That's an aggressive Choo Choo. I might have to contact Upper Deck. That's all Upper Deck's doing there. I probably will contact Upper Deck. I know they do want to violently choke me out, but there's that. Frick my bum. Oh yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, frick.